नमस्ते जी वे बीन रिसीविंग लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग कम्युनिकेशन हाउ टू स्पीक वेल हाउ टू अवॉइड कॉन्फ्लिक्ट स्पेशली विथ अवर डियर वंस हाउ टू बिकम बेटर कम्युनिकेटर्स इट इंस्पायर्ड मी टू एड्रेस दिस क्वेश्चन इन अ वेरी फ्यू एपिसोड्स ओवर कमिंग वीक्स सो फार we have talked about spirituality and about raising our consciousness we have said in detail about heartfulness meditation heartfulness cleaning and how to offer prayer we have focused on when we do these spiritual practices and how they can help us each and every single day but what about the many hours of each day probably the majority of our waking hours these hours which are spent in interactions of some kind or in communication with other people the quality of our communications affects the quality of our lives in so many ways and perhaps more than ever in this pandemic situation how we are relating with others and with ourselves that has come under the spotlight you may have found yourself locked down with the same people day in and day out for weeks or even months at a stretch it's like being in a pressure cooker a small misunderstanding can blow up into a big argument that simmers away for days isn't it or some of you may have had the opposite situation and been isolated alone missing the warmth of human company and probably dependent dependent on technology for your connections with people so this is a time when we need to give particular attention to how we are conducting our interactions can we make even our communication a means to becoming a better human being our character is communicated in every little interaction our adi guru of heartfulness the great lala ji maharaj said i quote the balanced condition of the mind is an expression of the right attitude in all our activities under varied circumstances in a broad sense it is the reflection of our character it has a deep impact and a favorable influence on those people who are associated with us it reveals itself in conversations which can be either serious and long or light and short unquote how we communicate tells us a story about us who we are inside reflects on the outside in our day to day behavior what's the point of having a lovely and peaceful meditation and then half an hour later spoiling it by shouting at your family or shooting off an abrupt impatient email really is there any point in meditation if we don't become better people kinder more compassionate and more giving so how does our spiritual practice show up in our everyday communications when we meditate we get in touch with our inner self we are immersed in a lighter finer and more peaceful vibration if we are able to keep hold of that calm condition and remain centered in our hearts our interactions will also be calm and poised the foundation of heartful communication is this awareness of inner meditative state or our inner meditative condition where there can be balance natural poise open hearted attitude resulting from our meditation which is supported by pranayama there can only be joyfulness and happiness 
we try to carry this calm condition into our daily interactions. To help us do this, it is good to pause after every meditation. I can carefully make a note of how I am feeling and then let this meditative state be infused throughout my system and subtle bodies. When we are in a state of peace, so many of our worries dissolve and we simply don't feel like barking at anyone. Lalaji Maharaj said that when we are in relationship with the current of reality, only those words will be flowing during our conversations which are intended and are just right. And here is a rather similar idea from Dr. Marcel Rosenberg. He was the founder of a process called Non-Violent Communication which is woven with our heartfulness practices into this heartful connections. He said, I quote, I believe that when we are really connected with that divinity within, divinity within each other and ourselves, we enjoy contributing to one another's well-being more than anything else. Unquote. It's this inner joyful connection with our hearts through a sincere meditative practice that can become a basis for wanting to contribute to the happiness of others. We smile more. Smiling is very much part of heartfulness communication. Smiling has so many benefits. It relieves stress. It releases natural painkillers and mood boosters. It strengthens our immune system and smiling is contagious. It's a super virus. Smile boosts our immune system. Anyway, you might have seen that wonderful YouTube video of a guy on Paris Metro who starts to laugh and in no time at all the entire carriage of passengers are rocking with laughter. It's called Metro Bodhisattva, if you want to look it up on YouTube. Anyway, many of us don't think so much about the effect of our inner condition has on all our interactions. So we try to change our communication habits from the outside. Like trying to be more patient with our kids or not speaking rudely to someone who is irritating us. Our efforts will bear fruit on some days and then there are times when things just spin out of control and we go back to the earlier patterns and habits. Is this familiar? So even with the best of intentions, there are times when we simply mess it up. Communication is like letting ourselves out. So what is within me, it will eventually for sure come out just as the honey that the bees produce. It's colored and flavored by the particular flowers from which they have gathered this nectar. In Scotland, you know, the beekeepers take their hives and put them in the heather that blooms on the hills in the month of August. So the bees, they visit many of these flowers. They, then they produce heather honey, which is famous for its fragrance and a very special taste. India also has its own pedigree of neem honey or mustard honey or tulsi honey, each expressing the source via flavor, color, and more than that, its medicinal impact. Words too, coming from persons of various types, also carries with it the music, or the noise, or the affection, or the anger. In short, it reflects who you really are. So if we immerse ourselves in the fragrance of pranahuti, this yogic transmission that we receive during meditation, then over a period of time, this will likewise sweeten our way of being with each other and how we live in this world. 
we will imbibe the inner condition and it will permeate our interactions more and more. Inner communion in deep meditative states affects our inner communication with ourselves, how we think and feel inside, our way of thinking and relating to others and ourselves, then emerges as heart-centered outer communication in our interactions with everyone. Eventually, this can become harmonious, relating like an outer communion where there is a subtle flow of mutual understanding between myself and another. Have you ever watched an old couple who have been happily married for several decades? I remember seeing this one day while I was strolling around a park in New York when I used to live there. This couple didn't say a word, but I observed how, how they compa companionably shared a picnic lunch near the lake, gazing in peace over the lovely surroundings, and after a while they left in a state of contentment, hand in hand. That is what harmonious living brings. I would like to suggest that this week, let us do a little experiment. Observe, how is your inner state when you are interacting with someone where things go well? Like over a coffee with a friend or a colleague or at home with your partner or children. Note your condition when the communication is harmonious. And importantly, how are you expressing yourself? And what is the quality of your listening at that time? Do the same when your communication with someone crashes. Any difficulties or conflict that happens with someone, take time to note what is happening when your communication is dwindling or failing. Again, observe your inner state and, and what was your intention? Did you insist on being right? Did you feel uncomfortable if you were proven wrong? Did you speak more than you listened? Could you sense how the other person was feeling? Okay, now note down with complete honesty with your heart over, I mean with your hands over your heart, in your personal journal, what was your condition like during and after those interchanges? In general, let's experiment with becoming more aware of how we are communicating and what our inner state is at any one time. We can't change something unless we first become aware of what we are trying to change. And in our next sessions, we will explore more about listening and speaking heartfully and how our natural interconnectedness with each other can support our journey in this life.